everyone, today we're going to be doing some no heat curls and she just barely washed her hair so it is pretty damp and I have split her hair basically in half. Obviously you can section this however you want but this is how we've been doing it. With this bottom half I'm going to split it into two pieces. So these sections are actually pretty large. I've only been doing five sections on her whole head to get these curls. And you may have seen our bandana wave video. If not, I'll put the link below. This is similar. We're going to be using bandanas again, but this is just making curls instead of waves. So to start with, same thing as the waves. You want to fold the bandana in half and then just roll it down. So you just want it in a tight roll about like that. And then you want to split this hair in half and then put the bandana over the top of those two sections and then one strand at a time you just want to take the hair and wrap it around the bandana. Make sure that this hair is tangle free before you do this so that you don't have knots in the morning. So now that I have that wrapped all the way to the end I'm going to have her hold this for a second while I do the other side. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just wrapping the hair around. Okay, so now that I have both of those wrapped up, you just want to make sure it's tight here at the top. If it's not, you can take it and twist it a little bit and it'll tighten up. And now I'm just going to take a rubber band and wrap around both of those. And you just kind of want to make sure that these ends stay tucked in so that they'll stay curled. This doesn't have to look pretty. Just make sure you've got everything wrapped up. So this is just going to hang just like that. With most no heat curls you end up having a knot on your head but these lay pretty flat and so it's actually pretty nice to sleep in. So same thing on this side. I'm splitting this section in half placing the bandana over the top and I'm going to wrap up one side at a time. Okay so I did these two sections on the bottom. I'm going to do three on the top and I'm going to try to get them so that the parts are staggered so that we don't have like an ugly part running down the middle of her head when we take these out. And I'm also keeping in mind that I'm going to want a part here on the side in the morning. So I've made a side part here. I'm going to make one section coming off of that. The other section I'm going to place right in the middle and then the third section here on the other side. The other cool thing that we have found with this method is that the curls sitting next to each other are going to be going in the opposite direction meaning that I'm twisting the first strand this way to the right and then this curl is going to be going to the left and that helps to keep them separated when you take them out. Otherwise they kind of nest together and just become one big curl. I haven't had a huge issue with keeping these ends tucked in but if you're having a problem one thing you could do is take this fabric at the bottom and roll it up over the curl like that and then tie the elastic around it and that'll keep things more secure. It does take longer to dry that way though. I have tried that before and the ends didn't come out dry. One last thing that I was going to mention, as you're wrapping this up, try not to double over where you're wrapping. Like you don't want to wrap it like this because it'll take a long time to dry. If you keep the hair that you're wrapping up kind of separated, it will dry a lot faster and it will also make nicer curls. Okay, here's what it looks like with all of the bandanas in. It's very similar looking to the waves that we did, but it makes completely different curls and we will show you what they look like when we take them out in the morning. Hey guys, we're back. She slept on these overnight and we are going to take them out and see what the curls look like. Whenever I'm taking out any type of a curler, I like to start with the ones on the bottom so that I'm not fighting the hair from the top. 
So all you need to do to remove these is take the elastic out and then start unwinding it from the bottom. If you get one that comes out kind of frizzy like this, what you can do is just take it and wrap it around your finger. You want to wrap it the same way the curl was going and it'll just go back into place like that. Okay, I've removed all of those bandanas. This is what they look like just coming out. As you can see, they're like perfect ringlets. If you don't want them this tight, you're going to want to take smaller sections. And then at this point, what I usually do is just kind of separate them a little bit. And after you separate one of the curls, you may get a little bit of frizz, and then what you want to do is just take it and wrap it back up around your finger so that it will stay as a ringlet, and then you can style it as you please. Mm -hmm.